Hey guys, it's Kyle from Mission Start, and we got a great episode of Pimp My iPhone for you. An older application, but something that I think that every uh, phone should have, uh, Haptic Pro. And this is a paid application in Cydia, available for free via the Simple iPhone source. That'll be in the description. And basically what it allows you to do is, um, uh, this is not, not really a visible one on the screen, but what it allows you to do is uh, when you hit icons or the keyboard or uh, things in, of that nature, uh, you will get a little bit of a haptic uh, response or the, the screen or the device will vibrate. This uh, does not work for iPod touches because they don't obviously they don't have a vibrate feature. But for iPhones, this is a pretty cool way to um, sort of uh, slide yourself in if you've been recently with a, with a phone with sort of like a haptic vibration. Or it's just a great way of knowing whether you hit it or not if you're a little bit of a, uh, a new to touch screens. So um, there's no real application for this, uh, or yeah, there's no like uh, button that you can push or icon. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into settings. And what it does is when you install this, uh, whether you pay for it or not, it will uh, come with a tab. And as you can see right there, below wallpaper, it gives you a little uh, settings thing. So we went into our settings application. We're going to open that up. And then it's going to give you some options. And uh, it's you can trigger events, key press, key released, key repeated. And basically that means that as soon as you hit the key, it will vibrate. If you hit key released, um, after you release the button, it will vibrate. Or if key is repeated, then it will vibrate then. You can have all three of them on or uh, none of them on. And then trigger controls, um, I have them all on right now. Uh, it would be keyboard buttons table cells and web links. So the keyboard obviously with the keyboard, buttons would be like uh, icons and so forth. Table cells, I'm not sure what that is. I'm not going to lie to you YouTube. And then web links are obviously web links. Um, the duration bar down here will tell, will basically indicates how long, um, how long it will last, the duration of it. And uh, we have it, it advanced settings, our intensity, basically how hard it's going to vibrate, or only special keys, or uh, adding click sounds and so forth. So all stuff that you want to mess with, trigger and ring, trigger and silent, and so forth. Uh, all this can be experimented with. Basically, it's a matter of preference. But um, yeah, something to keep in mind, though, if you're going to be using this application. On an iPhone, the battery is already not that great, battery life. And this will uh, drain your battery. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. If you have it set, um, I've done a little bit of testing with this. It does drop the battery pretty quickly because on any cell phone, if you have, uh, excuse me, if you have vibrate uh, enabled, then it will. Uh, it requires the phone to uh, initiate the vibration and therefore drain the battery. So uh, something you may want not want to have all of these on. Maybe just for uh, when buttons are hit or something along those lines. But um, something convenient to know is that maybe you can have it only sometimes because if you can see, I'll use my cursor, there is a um, SB settings toggle. So that way every time you go, uh, like if you want to turn it off or so forth, you don't have to go into this uh, the settings application and disable all the toggles and so forth. You can just hit that haptic pro toggle on or off and then it will uh, uh, activate it or not. And that's a uh, pretty good uh, addition to this application and uh, basically will make it more usable and more battery life friendly. Um, but I think that's all guys. Uh, this has been Kyle from Mission Start showing you guys Haptic Pro. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for some more awesome videos.